Hernando emergency officials have ordered, ordered no access to all residential areas west of US-19. That's due to rapidly rising storm surge. And we knew this was going to happen, and we are now seeing evidence of that surge. Fox 13's Mariah Harrison is live in Hernando Beach. Good morning, Mariah. Hey, good morning. So this morning we've been moving around a lot. If you remember just a few hours ago, we were live further down Shoreline Boulevard, closer to Hernando Beach, those coastal neighborhoods uh, that would see that storm surge impact. And as soon as we went live, we started to notice that water rising. We had just a few inches uh, that came up just close to our news car. So that's why we kind of pushed out further. And that's also where you see these rescue vehicles staging uh, ready to go if and when they are needed. Uh, you know, prior to eight o'clock, where we are west of US 19, uh, members of the media, property owners, even business owners did have access to this space. But you can see you are not allowed beyond this space now. As soon as that storm surge started to come in, uh, those conditions deteriorated very quickly and they cut off all of that access. So if we were to move back east of US 19, they would not allow us back to the spot where we are right now. So we do have some video about you know when that water started rising so quickly, rushing towards Shoal Boulevard, Shoal Line Boulevard. Unfortunately, falling over the sea walls, rushing down the sidewalks. I mean, it really was a sight to see. And we said it the entire time. That storm surge was always going to be the problem. That's what the meteorologists were warning us about as well. And that's why officials uh, triggered those mandatory evacuations from these communities uh, because they knew that this water was going to be a problem. And this morning, when they were allowing people, those business owners, those property owners to come back to these neighborhoods, uh, you know, some of them were unsuccessful in seeing their properties because of the water. Take a listen. Even in my truck, I can't get back there. It's, um, they're bringing in deuce and a half. So they said Arapica's already completely covered over. And um, we have a marina up here with a bunch of boats in it. And I told my boss I'd try to get out there. I can't get out there. I figured we were gonna have flooding. It's not over yet. There's still more to come. It's, I'm already thinking about what's gonna happen. Are my boats still gonna be floating? Are they gonna be laid sideways? Are these fishermen gonna have a job to go back to? It's a lot. Yeah. Is this your first major one? Uh, so what is clear this morning that there were some people who did heed those warnings. They evacuated these coastal neighborhoods last night, yesterday, uh, but then they tried to return back this morning to find those floodwaters, the storm surge blocking their access. But what's also clear this morning is that a lot of people didn't listen to those mandatory evacuations. I mean, we have video. We've seen people out on balconies walking along what's left of sidewalks uh, in neighborhoods that are supposed to be empty. And behind us, we've seen rescue boat after rescue boat staging and leaving. So it's, you know, not rocket science. We know what's going on behind this barricade. Uh, at this point, there is no power to a lot of these neighborhoods. We just heard from Hernando County officials not too long ago that they cut off power to all of these neighborhoods that were in the evacuation zone uh, that are now dealing with the storm surge. And guys, we just hope that these rescue efforts are successful.